So capitalism sucks. Yeah, yeah, yes it does. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Lindsay Jane, and welcome to the Solar Punk Scene. I'm your host for today, and joining me is one of my best friends, Jorge Pile. Hey, I'm your resident leftist. I'm a lot of things, uh, just like you are, just like everybody watching is, I hope. But for today, I am I am your resident leftist, well, mostly because, you know, we couldn't book anybody famous like Slavoj Žižek. I can sniff as much as he does between sentences, but... Please don't. <laughs> Gotcha. So the two, <laughs> so the two of us are here today to go and talk about rejecting capitalism from your personal life and the things that you can go and do to go and take those steps. Now it should be noted that it's pretty much impossible to completely reject capitalism from your personal life as is right now without going and rejecting notions like private property or completely isolating yourself. Now with that noted, let's get started into what capitalism actually is. So capitalism is the economic and political system where trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profits. I want to make it perfectly clear that when I say private owners, I mean large international corporations that got there by questionable means. Which is basically all of them. Like, there are basically healthy-ish ways to make it, to have a relationship with capitalism. Uh, and, you know, it's things like supporting local uh local businesses, it, but it's not the, you know, these massive multinational corporations that w are documented to ha be doing terrible things like slavery, basically. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Think Nestle. So when corporations go and put profit above everything, it can go and lead to things like incredibly dangerous work environments for uh, workers. It can lead to the situation with the environment that's happening now. It, I mean, capitalism is largely attributed with being the main cause of the climate crisis. We wanted to go and explore how to go and lessen the influence of capitalism in your day-to-day -day life, and it's actually surprisingly easy. Now, with going and researching this, I read a couple of articles that are already out there, and what, from what I could tell, there were generally two main goals with what it's trying to achieve. The first one being to stop spending money and thereby going and cutting off profits from these large corporations. And the second thing being is, is that if you do have to spend money, choosing to go and spend your money in a particular place that is supporting local and ethical places. So the different actions uh, can be split up into a number of different categories. First of all being consume consciously, grow your own food or get produce boxes, educate yourself on what you're dealing with, and change your transportation and uh, community action. So obviously this would be an extremely long video if we were to go and try to do all th those kinds of things because to be perfectly honest, a lot of this stuff goes and takes years to go and achieve. And it's important for you to go and have patience with yourself of going and doing this. It's not a change that's just going to immediately happen overnight. Like this stuff takes time. Uh, we've had to go and pick a few. So enjoy this montage of us going and uh, doing anti-capitalist actions. When you're having to go and purchase your daily necessities, look to going and supporting local co-ops and other ethical companies in order to give more power back to your local community. You can work out without corporate. You can work out from home. There's loads of information online as to how to go about it. And if you find yourself needing to use equipment like a barbell, you can go to a local community gym rather than a corporate one. Play music for fun gets rid of the idea that you have to be trying to make money from your creative endeavors and just lets you have fun. If it is accessible to you, take public transit or bicycles over cars. This is Angie. Hi, Angie. Whether you're decorating yourself or your home, buying directly from local artists helps support a healthier community. The tattoo I had done is a memorial piece for my grandmother. The library is one of the few places that you can go and not have to pay any money. A source for books, events, entertainment, and access to computers, the library continues to make sure that knowledge is accessible. Set up your own garden, grow in a community garden, go to a farmer's market to directly support growers, or get a produce box from your local community. Engage in seed sharing as it increases the local biodiversity and the ease of access to food for your neighbors and friends. 
just be aware of what you're planting in your local ecosystem. Sharing the joy of nature through cuttings is like finding a way to actually download a pizza, like in that old government PSA. Being creative with your entertainment can lead to new fun that is a lot more engaging than just flipping on a show or playing a video game. While watching shows can be fine, make sure to keep a critical ear with anything you're listening to and look at your sources. You can install an ad blocker on your browser. That stops corporations from telling you that you need to buy more things, especially as often these are things based on what you have already just bought. The fashion industry is one of the largest sources of pollution and unethical treatment of workers. Making your own clothes, repairing the ones you have, purchasing secondhand, or buying less but higher quality ethical clothing can make a world of difference. People do not used to own so many clothes as we do now, and the idea that we need that many is a modern construction of corporate greed. The only way to be able to truly make change is to educate yourself on what you're dealing with. Figure out the issues in your area. What needs to be changed and how? What other systems could be used to replace capitalism? How are the challenges we face interconnected and what can be done about them? Although we can make change as individuals, collective action is what we need to create the systematic changes we want to see. Get to know your neighbors, speak up for what you believe in, pay attention to community announcements and either fight or support them, and join or create collective action in your area. So that was fun. Like, there's a lot of other things that we can do there, like, you know, like switching to a credit union instead of a bank. Because, you know, banks fund big oil. Oh yeah, banks are one of the biggest funders of fossil fuels. So if it's possible for you in your area and what's available to you to go and switch to something like a credit union instead where it's non-profit and the focus is on the, you know... Investors? Yeah. Uh, then that is also a good option. Also, free cycling. Absolutely free cycling because you can end up going and finding a lot of cool stuff that's out there without having to spend any money. Yeah, there's some treasures that you found at the furniture drop-off. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, that uh, guitar that you guys probably briefly saw me playing uh, yeah. in the music section. That came from there. That came from a uh, randomly found furniture drop-off. Yeah, just restrung it and gave it a cleanup. That's about it. Yeah. There was a racing car inside of it. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, there was. But uh, try to avoid going and buying new things. There's a lot of other options out there for if you do need to go and get something that don't require you to go and spend money. Buying things new, checking out free cycling sites or Facebook groups or any other kind of connection point that you can go and see if you can find uh, things that people are giving up for free. Along with that, uh, tool libraries and all sorts of different other resources. There are other activities that can be done that should be listed in the articles that will be linked down below if you would like to search for other ideas. Um, now, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, Jorge and I put a lot of work into it, and it was a lot of fun to go and make. Um, I am going to be hopefully posting more videos this year. I will be posting more videos this year, as for the next coming year, um, I'm taking it as a challenge upon myself to only work uh, as much as to go and cover my rent and food expenses and the rest of the time I'm going to be working on my YouTube channel and other anti-capitalist actions. Uh, if you would like to support me, uh, I do have a Patreon which will be linked down below. Uh, as I continue to try and film videos uh, with a cell phone and edit with my laptop. Uh, so please continue to join me uh, for various adventures as I go and do things like explore and bond with the Dutchmans in the ravine nearby. <laughs> Sign me up for that. Oh, you're included. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Amazing. Have a great day, everyone. Time to go teach the raccoons how to use solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> raccoons with solar panels! <laughs>